Ayan, good morning everyone. Gloomy morning dito sa ano ngayon. Um, dito sa amin ngayon. Um, parang uulan eh. Pero still a very good morning. Uh, we were expecting for the market to drop yesterday at ayun, nag-drop pa rin nga. Right? Um, anyways, um, these are just normal pullbacks. So, nothing to worry about. So, good morning pa rin. Good morning everyone. Good morning to my daughter Laika. Welcome to the daily grind. Ayan, pag-uusapan natin ngayon is... Short selling, right? What is short selling, right? I'm gonna ex- be explaining what short selling is and what are the short selling strategies you can do uh, para uh, to prepare you when short selling comes here in the Philippines. At least, man lang, um, dalawa ng opportunities natin, right? Um, short selling will allow you to earn if the stock goes down. So at least, hindi tayo nag-aabang sa baba lang. So mga stocks na mataas-taas na, we have an opportunity there also. Sabi nga nila, on the market, uh, the bulls earn and the bears earn, right? You can earn on a bearish market using short selling um, and pigs get slaughtered. For at least, dalawa na opportunity natin. Mas, mataa, mas marami na ang opportunities to um, to earn. Um, para mahihirapan ako mag-recommend niya na during those times kasi dalawa na i-recommend ko, long positions and short positions. But anyways, that's gonna be very fun. And this episode is para uh, mapagandaan natin yan. Um, if you're just watching the video, uh, the replay of the video, please move forward to around 25 minutes because that's when the discussion is gonna start because this is recorded live. Yan po. Um... Ayun, kahapon, we were supposed to talk about this, kaso lang napahaba ang daldala natin. But anyways, ayun, um, let's try to do it today. Baka magkaroon tayo ng topic in between, which is what's nice about the everyday program. We can always adjust the topics, always adjust the schedule whenever, whatever we want, uh, whenever we want to. Um, let's start with your greetings. If you have any questions, if you have any um, charting requests, please post it on the comments. Dadaanan po natin yan as much as possible. Um, heads up lang, baka hindi po lahat madaanan natin sa so sobrang dami ng comments. So, I hope you understand. Um, I'm asking for your, ano, um, I'm asking for a little favor. And I hope we've earned this. Paki po, share ang video. Paki share ang video to your Facebook walls. And to your trading groups po, para at least yung mga newbies doon, malaman nila na may daily grind na nakakatulong sa program, sa, sa, sa trading nila. Especially pag kakasimula pa lang nila. So let me go to the comments. Without further ado, um, first we want to thank our sponsors, to Trade Asia and eToro. Yan, so we'll talk about, I'll, I'll let you see the eToro port ko mamaya. Uh, pakita ko sa inyo. Nag-post ako about eToro kahapon ng foreign markets. Ayan, ang foreign markets, um, na-resolve na yung Fed issue. That was the biggest reason bakit nagsibagsakan. <clears throat> Especially ang uh, technology stocks <clears throat> in the worldwide market, uh, US market. <clears throat> Ayan, and na-resolve na yun. So, we were expecting for the um, international stocks to go up. And, ayun na nga, kakapost ko pa lang Si Amazon nag-positive na, si Facebook nag-positive na, si Google nag-positive na. Yung port ko, positive 32 na, right? If you haven't created an eToro account yet, sayang naman po yung opportunity ng international market. Ang dami po mga gandang companies din doon. You can be an investor there also using eToro. So, create an eToro account. Test it out. Creating an account is free. Um, andyan po yung link ng description. Um, sa description, sa video description, please use that link lang po. Please use my link para po maka, uh, makatulong sa akin. Right? I, I, uh, that, that link helps me in return. So, if you wanna check out eToro, you can use that. Yun, positive na. Pwede nyo po akong i-copy trade. Right? Whatever I earn in my future trades, you are going to earn also. I'm already earning my Google. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna be earning more on other, on future trades, but you cannot copy not only uh, you cannot copy just me and dami pong pwede niyo pong kopyahin dito na mga tao mas marami pong, pong magaling na trader sa akin but somehow i'm doing okay and so uh we're starting the 2019 right so anyways and let's go to our comments um joel Ligares, good morning sir lloyd and like uh, good morning po hops good morning sir lloyd and vance happy birthday thank you so much chart request po kay picor uh, PCOR SCC and MPI. Si MPI, nag-aantay lang tayo ng bounce, right? I'm gonna be recommending MPI one of these days. Inintay ko lang po yung bounce niya. Yung re- recommendations ko dahil ngayon, hindi ko na na upload. Um, medyo konti lang sila. Primex, PNB, FB, SMC, and Tech. 
Alright, this down, I'll, I'll explain to you the charting mamaya. Si Tech medyo shaky okay Tech kasi medyo overpriced si Tech. Pero the technical analysis is already um, showing us good signs. So I'm still recommending it because of the technical analysis and the uh, and the numbers that it gave us this year. So tignan natin mamaya. Excuse me. Yan. Um Hops, inulat ko na yung request mo. Uh, hindi pa pala. Ayun, sulat na pala. <laughs> right? Let me just erase this para hindi magulo yung list ako. Um, yun. R. Leo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Ranulfo, first as my buntag coach. Yung like ka, mubalik, ka, um, mubalik na ka karon ang fan, sir. Let's check out fan. Kamustahin natin si fan. Um, good morning, sir. Watching from KSA from Al Aldisin. Humdana, alright, Humdana. Good morning sa inyo, alright, nasa mga kapatid natin sa KSA. Alright guys, um, nga pala, uh, it's getting brighter. February, middle of February, pupunta po ako. Tatlong venue po tayo sa UAE. Uh, punta po ta Una po natin magsa-seminar sa Dubai, then Abu Dhabi, and then Qatar po. Alright, so middle February, um, everything is being arranged na so medyo may may development na so hopefully i can see you there i'm going to be posting a poster about it um within this week right so i'll see you there i hope i can see uh you there will talk about how you trade yan tuturuan ko po kayo paano mag trade as a newbie yung stepping stone you how to start trading right right um Brian J Romano good morning sir Lloyd and like good morning then Burnstone TV Gaming, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sell na po ba si Tugo? And si Tugo, um, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the chart of Tugo. Nga pala, so, um, buti naman at gumagana pa ang chart at PSE tools, but baka ma-call out na rin sila. So, anytime soon, baka maka maka ma-stop rin si, ano eh, chart, si PSE tools. So, um, hopefully, hindi naman, ga, uh, hindi naman kabilisan. Uh, so, gamitin natin sila hanggang andito pa. Let's go with Tugo. Alright, Tugo is here. Ayan. So, recommended Tugo here during the day. The pullback and MA20 bounce. So, we're seeing higher highs, higher lows. I don't think it's a sell. Alright? Ayoko ibenta muna ito because we're seeing an uptrend right here. Right after this pullback, we're seeing a slow uptrend. So, kakasimula pa lang uptrend na yan. Uh, hard to tell, but if you are, um, yung lesson natin sa taking profits, if your risk to reward ratio is hit already, right, your target profit mo is hit already, um, be wary of any weaknesses. Pag may nakita kang weakness, you can always sell half just to be safe, right? Uh, kasi nagpo pull back din ang market. Eh. So, very good question, Burnstone, Burnstone TV. And let me move my camera. Ang konte. Ayan, nasa gitna na ako. Ayan. Ella Montefalco, good morning. Uh, Aldisin, Jumdana, Sir ISM po. Let's chalk, check out. Chalk, tuloy. <laughs> Let's check out ISM in a while. Um, expected naman yung pullback kay ISM. That's why I didn't recommend ISM yesterday. Um, kasi, ayun, um, it was. That's why I don't really like you guys to go after Bollinger Band triggers. Always wait for a pullback. I always told you, I've been telling you always lately na wag po breakouts muna ang lalaruin ninyo kasi manipis pa ang market. So it's not really that bullish and you don't have to be ag that aggressive in this kind of market. ISM, it's doing a pullback. Just wait for the bounce. Maganda naman yung uptrend line ni ISM. Uh, may nakikita na naman ako na scare tactics ng mga tao about Yudena kasi nagsisimula daw sa Yudena ng negosyo. Gamit ang utang. Daw maganda yun. Um... As far as I know, karamihan ng mga negosyo nagsimula sa utang at may lahat ng negosyo may lahat lahalos lahat ng mga negosyo may utang pa rin. Uh, actually, they encourage debt kasi um ano nga ba yung explanation noon for the businessman? They encourage debt because it doesn't give them red flags sa net worth nila, right? So sa tax din. Uh, mas maganda if may debt sila. Uh, I forgot the explanation on ang kaibigan kong negosyante but we'll talk more about that. Guys, yung utang ni Yudena, they are very wise investments. Look at ano ang inuutang niya first and what is the purpose before we can say pangit ang utang kasi dalawang sides ang utang, may good debt and may bad debt. And so far, I'm seeing good debt naman ang ginagawa ni ni ano ni Yudena, right? So, 
yun. ISM, wait for the bounce, right? Um, Bernadette Abio, good morning Sir Lloyd. To my daughter Jasmine, good morning sa inyong dalawa, mag-ina. Uy, you're, you're influencing Jasmine sa sa trading, di ba? Start them young. Very wise of you, Bernadette. Rodel Llamas, good morning. Um, Ilamas or Llamas? I'm not really sure uh, if that's Ilamas, right? Ben uh, Moneda, hi Sir Lloyd, good morning po. Sir, may I, may I ask your insights with IDC? PX and now. Thank you, sir. Let's check out the charts later. Ang tatlong ito. Right. Christian Cortez. Haha. Kala ko na late ako. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Okay lang. Uh, you're not late. Kathleen Racine. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Any thoughts on SDR, ISM? SDR and ISM. Let's check them out. SDR and ISM. Yeah, we, ch we checked out the chart of ISM. Okay lang naman si ISM. Just wait for the bounce. Um, Dong J and Yante po natin yung January 31 ng ISM. Let's see how what the movement is. Kasi ngayon, ang kinatatakutan ng mga tao, majority of them, they're afraid na hindi matuloy yung backdoor ni ISM at Yudena. Diba? Um, so far, wala pa namang balita na hindi matutuloy. Um, all, uh, all, uh, all lights are green pa. So... I'm not seeing anything to be afraid of. Uh, if ever may bad news tayo makita, let's just sell. But so far, wala pa naman. Um, other than that, yun ang pinakabigas concern ng mga investors. Um, yung ibang concern ng mga tao is baka mag 3 pesos daw. I don't think that will happen. Um, I'm pretty confident it won't happen. Um, ibang concern pa is, um, is Yudena daw expanding too fast for his own good. I don't think that's the case also because Yudena has the, what they call this, has the credibility already. They have good businesses. right? They've, they're one of the biggest petroleum companies here. So the holdings itself is one of the best holdings uh, in the Philippines right now. So I don't think um, he's growing too fast for his own good. right? Kaya nga gumanda ang credit ratings because all the management of the businesses that he have has been doing well. Kaya pinapautang po siya. Right? Mahirap po ganyan pag hindi ka pinapautang. But the, but the, uh, the banks are letting him borrow because they see the worth, uh, uh, the management skills of Udena. And Steve Gordon, good morning, Sir Lloyd. IDC and MRC, please. IDC and MRC. Okay naman si MRC. Ang galaw eh, right? MRC. Alright, let's check them out later. Dana Angela, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like, MPI po. Um, MPI, yeah. Um, Nag-antay lang tayo ng bounce kay MPI. Anytime soon, it's uh, mahihinog din yan. Pag nag-bounce yan, baka mag-bounce within the day. You can be aggressive kasi napakamura pa rin naman ni MPI. You can be aggressive in these kinds of stocks. Pwede niyo pasukin ka agad yan pag may nag-bounce today. I think it's gonna bounce today. Alright, so Lorin, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Kasel John Visaya, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pal Paluyo, uh, pasuyo po ng FLI, B-Core, uh, P-Core, AC, and AP. And let's check out these companies. These are very picks from you. Christian, Cortez, Sir Lloyd, okay pa ba ang CLC? P-Core, SMC, and BDO. Right, so CLC, I think it's still okay. Nagpo-pull back lang naman yung mga market. Kasi yesterday, uh, yesterday, kasi after consecutive wins, CLCP Core, SMC, and BDO. SMC, I'm still recommending SMC. The support is still holding. So, okay pa rin naman si, uh, si SMC. BDO, tignan natin si BDO. Sulat ko si BDO, tsaka si P Core. Si B Core. Ayan, nasulat na natin si P Core pala. Ang dami nag kay P Core. Eh. Roy Anthony Castillo. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And, um, Vita and Popey, please. Vita and Popey. Let's check them out. Si Popey, nirecommend ko noong MA20 niya. And there it is. Um, medyo mataas na ngayon si Popey. Uh, but let's check out if pwede na bang pasukin ulit. Right? MA20 bounce. I recommended it here. Right? So, I recommended Popey here. Perfect MA20 bounce. Nagpula siya the next day. This is what I'm telling you always, guys. It takes time for stock to move. Nag-break siya ng MA20, but that's okay. Hindi pa naman na-hit yung cut loss natin dyan. I usually use MA20 as my support, and I cut loss negative 3 below that. If hindi kayo nag-cut loss, then boom. Good job. So, mapumasak. Very good volume yesterday. So, I will not recommend it today. Ang ganda ng akyat kahapon, right? It went as high as 2.66. So, that's a good sign. It's already playing at the upside of MA20. So, pop trend na yan. We're seeing a higher high, higher low, right? Higher high again. So, the next higher low will be our entry point. 
let's wait for it. Actually, baka kahapon, ito na yung, ito na yung bounce niya, right? So, baka magtuloy-tuloy na. We can't really tell. Ang hirap na sabihin ngayon, noon po, this is the best entry point, point kay Popey. Uh, right now, I can't see, I cannot see a buy uh, buy uh, area for Popey. So, it's really hard to tell as of the moment. Let's wait for the next pullback lang talaga. There next solid pullback. Marami kasing ano dito eh. Marami kasing windows of opportunity. You can use a breakout strategy or you can wait for another breakout. You can use a breakout strategy if you want to. But the wisest, wisest strategy really is to wait for it at MA20, right? So, MA20 po yung magandang pasukin kay Popey. I can't really... Pero paakit na yan. Ang ganda na ng RSI. Oh. Um, it's showing us good momentum already. So, baka magtuloy-tuloy po ito eh. It's really hard to tell. So, I consider this a missed opportunity. I don't want you to chase this anymore. Kung gusto niyo si Popey, upuan niyo po. The next opportunity will come. Wag niyo, um, that's when you get in. Right now, it's really hard to get in Popey. I don't want to recommend Popey as of the moment. But good question. Let's write down Vita. Bunny Laagan, um, good morning Sir Lloyd, do you have a suggestion for an alternative app for Chupetot? Di kasi free yung alerts sa Investagrams, pasilip, pasilip na din ng PIP po. Alright, um, yeah, um, any recommended na pare parehas na Chupetot? Ang hirap eh, right? Um, ang ginawa ko dati is, nung wala pa si, wala pang watcher option, si ano uh, wala pang watcher option notification sa watcher si Chupetot is I created an account na merong mobile app na nagsasend ng ano nang nagsasend ng notification right and si First Metro to Trade Asia and um sino to uh, First Metro Sec Wealth Securities pala, right? So, yun tatlong yan. Meron silang mobile app na nagsasend ng notification. That will be very helpful for you then, right? Um, Greg Sinugbuhan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tanong ko lang kung make mag-take profit and sell ka, kailangan mag-sell. Oh, nga pala guys, a little, a little, uh, what do you call this? Uh, in fairness naman kay Investagrams, right? It's okay to pay for the watcher option. Pwede naman yan, right? You can pay for the watcher option. Alam nyo ba guys, Investagrams is free but you don't know how much PSE is asking for sa kanila. Napakamahal po. That's why it's okay to get these uh, services from Investagrams. Anyways, overall, libre, uh, libre naman siya. Right? The watcher option, uh, it's very inexpensive. Uh, for the for the service that it's giving. So wag po kayo mag um wag po niyo wag po ninyong baratin naman ang mga ito. That's one of the reason why si PSE Tools and um they're still small, hindi pa nila kaya, they don't have that much investor. If ever si PSE Tools maghingi ng ano yan, maghingi ng bayad sa inyo. In fairness to them, it's fair. Right? Kasi ang mahal po ng hinihingi. Just in case, just in case PSE Tools wants to Ito si PSE Tools, ito sila Chupeto. Just in case maghihingi sila ng uh, membership, right? Huwag nyo pong babaratin. Because this is a service but somehow may expenses ito eh. Just like my program, right? This is free. This is a service but somehow nagbabay ng internet, equipments and everything. So, huwag nyo pong babaratin ang mga ganyang tao, right? Si Investagram, sumihingi ng ganyan para at least sustainable po yung uh, yung Investagrams. Overall, yung business, uh, yung, no, not the business, yung service nila to make it free na sustain. So, if you want extra, and this is important to you, if it's worth it, you can pay for it. Huwag nyo pong titipirin, right? Um, that's one of the reasons kaya, kaya nahihirapan si Chupetot. Kasi, uh, I talked to the creators yesterday. Yun, um, we did talk about that, uh, we, we did talk about that. Ang Pilipinas kasi is ang hilig sa libre. Right? It's really hard for these people who are um, doing the services for free. Right? Um, kasi hindi, 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 hindi pa ready ang Pilipino. Gusto talaga ng mga Pilipino na libre. Um, supportahan nyo naman. If ever, ganyan. Si, si Investagrams, dyan sila humingi ng supporta with, the, with their watcher option. It's, I don't think it's, it's expensive. Right? 100 pesos to 200 pesos a month lang yan. And it's a very useful option. Right? So, wag po natin, uh, wag po natin babaratin yan. Because it's a very big help in return to them para makontinue po nila yung mga ginagawa nila. Okay? Well, that's one of the reason bakit eh, hindi uh, na, nasara si, uh, si Chupetot. Kasi, ayun, uh, may nahihirapan siya with the, with the 
with the with, sila with the expenses right si Chupetot di ba meron sila may bayad ng mga services pero walang kumukuha kasi gusto ng mga tao libre di ba so yun ang problema right so wag niyo pong babaratin ang mga yan right just it's okay to pay for that at least man lang um, maibalik natin sa kalayo yung favor na binibigay nila sa atin Greg Sinugbohan good morning sir Lloyd tanong ko lang kung mag take profit uh, take profit sell half kailan mag sell again sa other another half Alright, so very good question from Greg Sinagbuan. Kung mag-take profit ka ng half, kailan mag-sell again sa other half? Um, usually, usually, the most conservative way, let me open paint, right? Um, para at least ma-illustrate ko po sa inyo. Very good question from um, Greg uh, Paint. And so, yan. Here. Um, Di ba ganito ang tinuturo ko? For example, mag-uptrend ang stock, ang ganyan. And then shows a weakness. This is where you sell half, right? Sell half, Jan. There's the MA20, right? That's there's the uptrend line, right? Ang gusto kong gawin ni um the ang unang tinuturo ko sa inyo, except for example, you bought it here, you sell half here, and then the other half ride, and then pinaka safe na cut loss is make it break even. Kung kailan mo siya binili, ano average mo? Pag na hit yung price, where that's where you sell it, sell all. Right? This is the conservative approach. You can be aggressive and perform a, a trailing stop loss. Trailing stop loss is, for example, MA20 yung recent support. Then this is this becomes your support. If ever mag, uh, mag break siya ng support, you sell all here. This is called trailing stops. You can sell all here. Right? Or, pwede rin naman na sa next na bounce... And it bounces, right? You can sell half here. Sell half mo dito, sell half. And then if it bounces, right? Kung ayaw mo nang bumili dito, it's okay. You can use this most recent support as your support. So that if it breaks that support, then that's where you sell all. This is called trailing stop loss, right? You can sell all there. But at least kung dito ka bumili, overall nag gain ka. Anyway, short term lang naman ang purpose mo. You can do that, right? Ako sa... Long terms ko, ginagawa ko is this one. Especially, example, sila Jollibee. Sa baba ko nabili. Right? If it does this, I can sell half here if I want to. If ever it breaks the MA20, pwede ko pong, or, or the uptrend line, pwede ko pong i-sell all dyan. But since I'm into long term kay Jollibee, iniintay ko pa yung buying area ko, yung average ko. If my average is hit, doon po ako magbebenta ng lahat. Pero hindi naman na hit yung average ko. So, I'm still keeping the other half. I'm just waiting for the next bounces to buy more. Right? Magbabuy more po ako dyan. Right? So, I hope that's clear. Very um very good question, Greg. um Alan Ibarbia. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And let me close this one out. um Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa puso po SDR, CPM, and Primex. SDR is already there. CPM... And Primex. Primex is one in one of my recommendations for today. Um, ito po yung mga recommendations ko. Let me write this these down. And hi sir EW, please from El Razo. Let's write down EW. And then you sir Lloyd, maganda. Um, good morning to you and your family. Pwede pa explain sa sinasabi lang 8K rule in trading. Thanks. Um, 8K rule in trading is, di ba may meron tayong mga charges meron meron mga charges and tax na binabayaran whenever we buy and whenever we sell um 8k rule at least kung 8k kasi ang binibili mo mas mabilis ang tubo ng pera mo at least kung tumubo man niya ng around 1% nakabawi ka na right so kasi ang hirap ibawi pag nasa 5k lang ang bili mo or uh, 8k lower right that's why i don't train Actually, ang ginagawa ko is 10K usually. Ang tinetest buy ko, ang pinakamababa kong test buy is around 20,000 pesos. That's so that ma-offset yung, um, offset ka agad yung um, taxes and fees na, ginagawa, uh, na binabayaran mo whenever the stock goes up. Right? Mas mabilis po ma-offset yan. Okay lang naman kung mababa ang, mababa ang, kung 5K lang ibili mo, pwede naman yan as long as you're entered for long term, ma-offset naman yan. Pero kung magalaw ka masyado sa stock market, you're gonna be fee paying fees um, most of the time. Better make, uh, mas, ma mas maganda if sulitin mo, right? 8K is the very least na tolerable levels um, to trade, right? DL Kaida, good morning, sir. Vul po, alright? Let's check out Vul in a while. 
Um, time check, it's 8.43. Let's start the discussion at 8.45. Um, marami pong comments na dapat basahin. Kim Kaiser, Pedreza, good morning Sir Lloyd, SMC po. Ako, oh, nagbodega, tama po ba? Based po sa mga videos nyo about retracements, it's, it's, is it time to buy na po? Yes, it is actually. I've been recommending SMC for two days already because we're seeing a support already. Rodrigo Calios, good morning Sir Lloyd. Christian Cortez, I'm using Investagrams for my cut loss target price alert. Kaso, may bayad 300 pesos to one month uh, ang one month and then 2k and one year yun nga lang may bayad so, um 300 pesos i'm not really sure if that's ano uh that's uh that's fair for a price yun nga lang medyo mahal nga rin no? um but yeah i think that's the price na sinasabi ni investigators para makabawi sila at kumita naman sila right um Chupetot is aiming for somehow break even lang at least ma ma ano ma ma sustain lang nila ang service nila so hopefully ma ano natin yan ma ma uh, ma solve nila yan in the future right I'm trying to help Chupetot then look for a client hopefully matulungan ko sila but right now um medyo hirap yan lakas uh, ang laki ng kailangan ni PSC ang laki ng hiningin ni PSP should you want to know uh, 5,000 USD po ang hinihingi nila na one-time payment. Um, uh, first initial payment, 5,000 is like quarter of a million, 250,000 pesos. That's a lot. And yun, uh, sad to say, hindi kaya ni Chupetot yan. And then there's 12,000 pesos quarterly. So around almost um, 60K for for ano, for almost 60K for ano, 40, 48, almost 50K a year after that. So hindi kaya ni Chupetot for now. Alright? Rodrigo Calio, um, now po sir, right? Tignan natin yan. Cecil Pange, maing buntag Sir Lloyd, Bull and ISM, please. Alright, check. Let's check the out. Janelle Abunal, uh, Popey and Bloom, please. Alright, let's write these down. Alright, Popey and Bull. Alright. Good morning, Sir Lloyd, from Dominica here. Alright, good morning sa inyo. Alright, so let's, um, good morning, Coach, what happened with Finn? Let's check that out. Um, asa na yun? May nabasa ako ah. Right, so, yun, um, asa na yun, no, wala, bumaba bigla yung comments eh. One moment. Uh, uh, Saudi sir from um Zacharias Marco seminar put kadiri sa Saudi. Hopefully I can. Sana sana pede. Right, I'll ask my organizer if kaya natin yan. Anyways, yun Roda from Cebu but living in Saudi now. Thankful kay kasi mga inputs that um tagan ko na learn update and stocks na ako because you thought recorded na ako matan all right that's good to know anong asayo sir lloyd from dave guapo dadis good morning sir lloyd's insights up kay peaker from monet lagman good morning chp and ayan bumaba yung comments but anyways uh let's start with uh ano let's start with our discussion we're gonna be talking about short selling and short selling strategies just to prepare to, uh, you guys pag anjan yung short selling all right but first off First up, let's thank our sponsors to Trade Asia. They've been very generous in sinasabi ko. Um, these kinds of, uh, yung mga ginagawa ko po ngayon, everything is free. Internet, um, ako na po nagbabayad, uh, what they call this, the, the equipments that you see that I'm using, ako po nagbabayad yan. And since to Trade Asia has been helping us, yan, kung napapansin niyo po, hindi ako gaano nanghihingi ngayon ng uh, donation. If you want to, you can. But at least I'm sustainable now because of the help of the sponsors, diba? So, ang laking tulong po ng mga sponsors. So, we want to thank them in return. 2 Trade Asia, if, you want, if you're looking for a broker, check out 2 Trade Asia. Ang bilis po, very reliable. Ang ganda ng prime platform nila. And then, most importantly, yung, yung mobile app nila. At least kung naghahanap kayo ng libre na watcher option, yung mobile app nila. Sina, nagsisend sila ng email sa, ano mo, sa, sa email mo. And then, magno-notify at the very least. Right? So, let's start. Short selling. Ano ba ang short selling? Um, in, the, in, the short, um, in the easiest form para ma-explain ko po sa inyo, short selling is, nope, not this one. Short selling is basically betting. Right? Not betting. Pero, trying to guess if, uh, if the stock is going down and you earn in return, pag bumagsak ang stock. For example, di ba? Ang nakasanayan natin is pag umaakit ang stock, yan, ganyan, at pumasok tayo dito, 
we earn if the stock goes up. That's called a long position. Meron tayong short position where kabaliktara naman ang nangyayari, sorry. Kabaliktara naman kalik, uh, kabaliktara naman ang nangyayari pag bumagsak ang stock. Right? And then we short sell it here while it's going down, you are earning also. So that's another opportunity to earn. That is basically how you earn in short selling. Now, I want to explain to you paano ka kikita Sir Lloyd na bumabagsak naman yung stock, di ba? So, yon. Um, this is what happens to explain to you guys. Right? Uh, let me erase this. Yan. So, ganito. Let's say the stock is going down and you short sell it here. Paano ba mag short sell? So, you just Kahit wala kang hawak na stocks, you just click on sell, right? You just click on the sell button and put in the price, magkano mo siya isi-sell and then you are you will be able to short sell it already. Wag po itong wag niyo pong uh, wag po kayo malilito. Don't be confused na bakit ko isi-sell eh wala na akong hawak, right? It's just basically you, yun lang yung button para hindi mara, maraming button. Click on sell, you will be able to short sell. What that does is if you short sell a stock, pag nag-short sell ka, you borrow stocks from someone else. For example, ako, ako ang nag-short sell. Let's write down Lloyd. Yan, si Lloyd nag-short sell. Dan. What the, what the, what your broker does is they will look for stocks sa mga especially sa mga stocks nila na long term naman ang hawak. For example, we short sell ALI, si Ayala Land Incorporated. For example, ang broker natin si 2Trade Asia. So si 2Trade, when I short sell, si 2Trade maghahanap ng ALI stocks among their investors. So siguro sila mismo, si 2Trade Asia mismo may mga hawak na stocks. Um, yun yung kukunin nila, 2Trade. Yeah, For example, si 2Trade may ALI stocks. Right? Si 2Trade, kukuha siya ngayon ng stocks niya at ipahiram niya sa akin. ba? For example, si 2Trade, Meron silang stock sa Ali and they are already earning, let's say, uh, for example, let's say, ang Ali nila ngayon is around 45 pesos. 45 pesos ang current value nila sa Ali, di ba? Na hawak nila. And then you short sell it at uh, 45 pesos. What it does is, yung mga Ali na stocks nila, ipapahiram nila sa sa'yo. Right? Papahiram nila sa sa'yo. So, that's when you click on sell. Right? Now, when the stock is going down, the prices of the stock is going down. Let's say, dito, um, 35 pesos na lang si Ali ngayon. So, di ba si 2Trade, from 45 pesos, nawalan siya ng 10 pesos per stock. Saan napunta yung 10 pesos na stock? They give it to you directly. So, yung nawala ni 2Trade na 10 pesos per stock, ibigay nila ngayon sa iyo. So, you are earning while 2Trade is losing. So, direkta na sa iyo mapupunta yung pera na nawawala kay 2Trade. So, I hope that's clear. Um, if you have any question on how you earn, this is basically how you earn. Di ba, pag bumabagsak ang isang stock, may mga tao na nawawalan, especially the long-term people, yung mga hindi nagsisell. So, yung pera na nawawala sa kanila, idedirekta na lang nila ibibigay sa iyo. Right? So, what do you do is, you press on the sell button para ma-start ma itong short selling. And then, kung gusto mo na ibalik kay uh, to trade yung stocks, and then you just play, uh, you just put, uh, press the button na buy, right? Right? Buy button ang pipindutin mo, and then uh, ha, ilang stocks ang ibibigay mo sa kanila, or you can ibalik mong kalahati, baka bumagsak pe, eh, ba? Or, or ibalik mo lahat, just click on the buy button, and then fill up the, uh, fill up the, uh, the order, kung ilan ang gusto mo ibalik at what price. And then, pag na-hit yung price na yan, ibabalik nila kay 2Trade yung stocks. Siyempre, nawalan ng pera si 2Trade kasi bumagsak yung stocks nila. At least, ang pera directly papunta sa iyo, hindi sa other people. So, that's how short selling works. Right? I hope that's clear. If you have any questions about this uh, sa explanation ko, let me know. This is the best I um, so far na explanation ko para maintindihan ng lahat how short selling works, right? You basically borrow stocks from 2Trade Asia and the money that they're losing from 45 to 35, they're losing 10 pesos, they give it directly to you. Just babalik mo lang naman sa kanila yung stocks.
right? So, yeah, that's how that's how short selling works. I hope I'm, I was able to explain that. Medyo magulo eh, but I hope I was able to explain that to you clearly. Now, do you have any questions about short selling? How how does it work? Naguguluhan pa, pa ba kayo? If not, then we'll go ahead to short selling strategies, right? Um, so let's go with short selling strategies ngayon. Ang dating tinuturo ka ngayon sa inyo, especially may technical analysis now, syempre, di ba, isa, si, isa yung mga bottom picks. What if meron tayong double bottom na movement sa isang stock, di ba? So we usually buy at the support, right? Same with short selling. If we see, opposite naman, if we see a double top, Right? Usually, that's a sell signal because the resistance is very strong. Right? Pag nag-double tap ang isang stock. Right? Especially paired with RSI. If ang RSI is pababa, right? That's a divergence. You should sell here already. A, a good example of this is JFC noon. Sana may short selling nga noon. Ginagain tayo sa pagbagsak ni JFC. Eh. So, let's check out JFC. Right? Nangyari to kay JFC noon. Right, so this is GFC. Right, so here's the double top of GF GFC. Here, the long basis siya nag tuk tuk dito. It did break out for a bit, for a little bit. Dito, from here to here. Tanggalin ko lang si Bollinger Bands. Right, so nag double top siya dito. But look at this, guys. Ang RSI niya is pa baba. So, Jollibee from that point, hindi na nakapag-recover. We're seeing lower highs now. So, that's another opportunity to sell, uh, to short sell. Kasi that's a confirmation na pa-downtrend na siya. Diba? Pag lower high and lower lows. Right? Lower low, lower high, lower lows. These are opportunities to sell, short sell here, short sell here. Right? And then, kung bumaba yan, then you earn when Jollibee was going down. So, we have another double top here. Dito, pakita ko po sa inyo. Well, Jollibee is going down. Kumikita kayo dyan. Right? Another double top is here. This one right here. Diba? Dalawang beses siya. Gumawa ng tuktok. Let me re remove this. Another double top here. This is the top and top. Right? RSI is... Sideways naman, but that's a double, another double top. So, an this is another opportunity to short sell. So, while bumabagsak ang isang stock, you will be earning. This, this is one thing you will be looking for on a stock. Especially pag nasa tuktok na. Pag hindi kayo nakapasok dito sa baba, eh di antayin yung tuktok. Pag gumawa ng tuktok yan, that's when you sell. Right? Another, another, upper, uh, another strategy for short selling is this one right here. Higher highs. But RSI is going down. Right? So, kanina, ang tinuro ko sa inyo was double top. Ang, su ang susunod nyo naman na aantayin or, or what you wanna look for is when this formation happens, higher high, right? So, pataas yung resistance niya. But RSI, yung resistance ng RSI, pababa. So, pataas ang presyo na resistance, but the resistance of RSI is going down. Same with GFC. This happened also. We predicted this na babagsak si Jollibee. Bakit? Yung second top niya here. Pataas ang presyo, but RSI is going down. We were If you short sell it here, you would have been earning nung pabagsak si Jollibee. Right? Bumagsak si Jollibee, even created a double bottom. There it is. And then buy ka ulit dito. Eh. Sinauli mo, then buy ka dito. Right? Because we we have a buy signal here naman na double bottom and then conver uh, divergence then na pakit yung RSI. Right? So, at least ngayon, kung bumagsak si Jollibee, kita ka. Pag nakita mo na parang aakit si Jollibee, I did recommend Jollibee here. Aakit si Jollibee, kita ka ulit. Pag tingin mo na babagsak na si Jollibee, benta mo ulit. Right? Short sell mo. So, while it's going down, you earn. While it's going up, you earn. While it's going down, you earn. 
while it's going up, you earn. Mas mabilis po ang kita natin ngayon sa PSE. If ever that happens, that's why I'm waiting for it. Kasi ang dami pong opportunities to be able to earn. Pag ganyan. So, mababawasan ng mga buhusan pag nangyayari ito. Kasi people, marami nang, marami nang nag-aabang sa, sa buhusan eh. People will be more patient. Kasi, uy, mataas na ang stock. Uy, umaakyat siya. Hindi na siya ma- ma- mainip, hindi na siya maiinggit kasi he he has something to wait for ngayon. Ang iniintay niya naman ngayon is bumagsak ang isang stock. If dati lagi kayo naiipit kasi hinahabol niyo sa taas, and po, may short selling na para kumita kayo kung pabasok mo kayo sa taas. At least i-short sell niyo na lang kasi babagsak yan. Kung magaling kayo maipit, this might be an opportunity for you. Um, para at least yung ipit nyo, kumikita na kayo. Right? Magpaipit lang kayo when this happens. Right? Um, so, those are those are good strategies for um, short selling. Another one is the uh, Fibonacci retracement. Right? So, Fibonacci. Right? For example, may nakita tayo na stock na ganito ang galaw. And then, right, that. We use the Fibonacci retracement. Yan, lalabas yung mga line yan, di ba? Yan. So, ganun ang lalabas kay Fibonacci and you look for the 0.61 na uh, na line. If the price pierces the 0.61 line, that means that's a possible reversal. Pwede na nating i-short to anytime soon. Because that's a reversal, we just wait for the retracement and then if we see the lower high, which is the lower high right here, Right? This is the previous high. This is the lower high. This lower high, high is the confirmation na reversal na nga siya. Right? If we see the lower high here, pwede na natin short sell yan dito. Sell it because papaba na yan kasi reversal na yan ng uptrend niya. So I hope that's clear. You check out the 61 sa Fibonacci retracements. Pag tumagos yung presyo, that's a signal na it is a reversal. You just wait for the confirmation which is a lower high. Yun yung po importante dyan, lower high. Pag may nakita na kayong lower high, then that will be your, um, that will be your confirmation na pwede na siya ay short sell and bababa na yan. So, you earn when it goes down. So, basically, hinuhulaan mo ngayon kung babagsak na siya or hindi. Especially sa mga stocks na masyado mataas na, yes, babagsak po yan. It will happen and people will earn on short selling. Alright, um, this is one method also um uh, application ito nangyari ito kay JFC um kay JFC din eh si JFC na rin ang gawin nating ano kasi I really teach my students na if you have a technical analysis uh doon niyo po i-practice sa mga blue chips kasi mas mas predictable ang mga galaw noon especially sa mga blue chips so here right here we have Galawin natin, Bollinger Bands. Alright, so we have a break of the MA20. So this is a sideways trend right here already. So let's remove Bollinger Bands. Alright, so we can use Fibonacci retracement on this level right here because this is the start of the trend. Where's the Fibonacci dito? Alright, Fibonacci retracement from here. Ito yung pinakamababa na point kasi nag-sideways na siya from this point to this point. So let's say, ganito pa ang nangyayari. So, you don't really know. Palakin ko lang ito. Let me go full screen. Alright, so, this is the lowest point from the sideways trend and then this is the highest point of that trend. So, nag-uptrend siya ng saglit. Alright? It broke. No, it, it didn't break the MA20. Wala tayong MA20 dito. But ito yung tinitignan natin. Alright? 0.618. This is what I'm talking about. 0.618. Inaantay po natin yung 0.618. This pullback right here, hindi siya umabot sa 0.618. 618. The 0.618 line is dito, but the pullback, this pullback right here, hanggang 0.5 in the middle of 0.5 and 0.618 lang siya. So we really can't tell kung magda downtrend na ito or hindi, right? And then, sa so hindi pa clear, there it is, umakyat pa. So we now move our Fibonacci line higher. Jan. And we'll wait for the future pullbacks to to pierce the 0.618 line. And there it is, right here. The 618 line is here. Yung last na pullback after this one, tumagos sa 0.618 line. This is the 0.618 line again, but this price moved below 0.618 line. 
Now, we have a signal that there's a possible reversal. We just wait for the confirmation. A confirmation again will be a high, lower high. So, mas mababa na tuktok. If that happens, there it is. Yan. So, if that happens, mas mababa na tuktok right here. Then, we know that this stock is already going on a downtrend. Kasi, according to Fibonacci, that's a change of uh, that's a reversal already. So you short sell it at that area. Kombinenta mo yan, yan. Kumita ka na sa pagbagsak niya. So we're seeing now lower highs, lower lows. So downtrend na siya. So you wait. Umakyat siya ulit. Gumawa ng double top. That's another opportunity to short sell it. Kung si short sell niyo ulit yan. There it is. Kumita na kayo sa pagbagsak ni Jollibee. Right. So that's how you earn also. Right. Let me check out your comments if you have any questions about this um, uh, what if opposite ang nangyari pag short sell sir so if you think that it's gonna go down a very good question we have a question dito burnstone burnstone tv gaming paano po kapag umakyat yung price habang ginagawa mo yung short selling so let me cancel so ganito naman all right De delicado ang short selling in this way right very good question i forgot to how do you put your how do you defend yourself from short selling so here naman so for example um, we're seeing a lower high already and then you buy the stock here right so let me remove this so you short sell it here short sell right short sell it there what if umakyat ang stock after that then basically you're losing right kasi you will lose. Kasi yung hiniraman mo ng stocks, umakyat yung pera niya, so ikaw ang kukunan ng pera ngayon. For example, kanina, ang example natin si 2Trade. 2Trade. 2Trade has it at 45 pesos. Si North Shell mo at 45 pesos. Ako naman dito, for example, I short, short sell it at 45 pesos. Now, umakyat eh, di ba? Umakyat ang stocks dito. Let's say naging 50 pesos na siya. Right, so two trade should be earning because originally siya naman yung owner ng stock. So magiging 50 pesos, so may earning siya na 5 pesos. Saan kukunin ngayon ang 5 pesos na yan? Sa'yo. Right, kasi ikaw yung humiram ng stock. Kung kumita siya, ikaw ang kukunan niya. So you lose money if the stock goes up. <laughs> so baka baliktad naman na mangyari sa mga taon paakyat na stock, naipit ka naman. So, that's the risk here also. Baka umakyat siya. So, what you do is, you cut loss negative 3 above your downtrend line. Uh, positive 3. Ayan, balik tadi. Positive 3% above the uptrend line. I-cut loss mo na, isoli mo na yung stocks, baka umakyat pa yan lalo. Right? So, ha that's how you defend yourself also from these kinds of, um, these kinds of situation. Right? So, kung umakyat ang stock, Pag nag-positive 3 na, you will be losing money kasi yung owner ng stock kumikita na dapat. So, saan nila kukunin yung kita? Sa pera mo. Right? So, yung buying power mo makukunan kung uakit yung stock. And then, you cut loss. Please cut loss again. Cut loss nyo po yan kasi yayaman si 2Trade sa inyo. Right? <laughs> sa iyo kukunin yung pera. Right? So, ganyan din naman ang mangyayari sa uh, Burnstone. So, yun. Sir, dapat po ba sell short or buy short? Um, if you're short selling, sell ang unang bibilhin, uh, sell button ang unang mong gagawin. Wala ka pang stocks niyan eh. So, you don't have to buy the stocks. Eh. Pag buy ang bibilhin mo, bibili ka ng stock. So, you press the sell button to start the short selling. Zigward, what if opposite ang nangyari sa short selling, sir? Pag akit ng stock, mawawalan ka ng pera kasi dapat kumikita yung original owner ng stock. Noel, siri, siriaco, right? mababawasan ba? ang buhusan. Yes, most probably kasi mas magiging stable ang movements ng stocks if ever may short selling kasi may kumikita na sa short selling. Right, Bernadette Abiog, sir, pareho din ba po ba ang charges sa tax pagdating sa short selling? Yes, parehas lang. Zacharias, Marco, what if mag short selling ako ng stocks at 5 pesos tapos hintay ko maging 4 para makabili at maisoli ang stocks? Question is, may deadline po ba ang pagsaoli? Mag, may deadline ng pagsaoli pag wala ka ng pera. Right, pag naubos ang pera mo kasi mayroon kang dapat deposit ang pera dito right kasi iuutangin mo yan eh pag naubos ang buying power mo automatically iso solid na yung stocks most probably kasi yun yung nangyayari sa iba eh. right so masasolid yan pag naubos ang pera mo 
Sir, thank you sa short selling. Thank you always, Sir, Sir Lloyd from Lia. Uh, you're welcome. I hope I was able to explain this properly. Sir, paano din kaya ang stats ng stocks support mo if short sell siya? Magpa-positive, right? Positive ang lalabas. Um, lalabas lang siya sa short selling na column. Most probably ganyan. May short selling column, then positive naman sa stats mo yan kasi yung earnings naman ang titignan, di ba? Meron po bang short selling sa call? I think meron, magkakaroon si call, but wala pa ngayon. Wala pang short selling sa PSE because it's, yun ang problema sa Pilipinas. We're not really ready for the credit system. Um, kaya hindi pwede ang credit card sa Pilipinas kasi hindi pa pwede ang mga Pilipinas sa credit system. Kaya uso pa rin ang um, prepaid cards kaysa sa postpaid cards kasi ito kasing, to, uh, ito, ito kasing short selling dapat may deposit kang malaki muna. Right? Kasi pag, baka hindi mo bayaran eh, di ba? Uh, Bull and Bear, <laughs> eto mawa siya. Good morning, Dennis Lorianya. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. If ever may short selling na, wala nang lugi sa PSA, kaso limited lang ang short selling stocks sa pagkakadada ko. Yes, tama. Um, limited lang ang short selling. So, um, whenever there are final details, meron na po akong kinausap na broker talaga. Um, he will be making a talk. Gagawa tayo ng talk about that, about the parameters of short selling. So we'll talk about short selling again in the future. Kung paano ba tayo maka-avail of pedeman, right? So that will be in the future. Pag nagkaroon na ng short selling. Ido Almo, hi sir Lloyd. Good morning. Pasilip po ng ISM and food. And uh, sulat natin yan. El Razo, sir. Pag nag up instead na mag down, loss ko po ba yon? Sa kamay time frame. Po ba pag in ng borrowed stocks? Ayan. Wala naman time frame sa pag in ng borrowed stocks as long as you have the money. Right? Projected opening on my channel. Keep on tab. CPSC Warzone. Um, Abner Respecio. Sir Lloyd, short sell query. Can I short sell a stock even though I am holding a quantity, say, JFC? I have 1,000 then I want to short sell 2,000. That, I'm not really sure. Hindi ko pa nasubukan yan. Kasi, I don't see the point eh. Um, your stock, your GFC is gonna, yung stocks na hawak mo, babagsak, pero kumikita ka naman sa short sell mo. So, it's gonna balance out. So, I don't see the point, right? So, I don't think that is possible. Magulo eh, di ba? So, nababawasan pera mo sa investment stocks mo, tapos is your short sell mo naman. Right? I don't think that's possible. Not really sure if that's possible, right? So, we'll talk, isa yun sa mga questions na um, tatanungin natin yung broker, if ever, right? I'm not really sure if that that is possible, Abner. Balikan natin yan. Sly John, may sona. Uh, sir, bakit niyo po dinidiscuss ang short selling? Magkakaroon na ba tayo niyan? Yes, actually, nag-promise si PSEI na mag-short sell na last quarter ng 2018, kaso hindi natuloy. So, hopefully, matutuloy na yan this year, right? So, I'm just preparing everyone, right? Weng, Salde, may time frame po ba, sir, and how long you can borrow stock? I'm As, as far as I know, wala eh. Richard Bolisay, good morning Sir Lloyd. Musta po ISM CLC? So far, so good. Sir, dapat may BP ka pang cut loss. Yeah, tama yan. <laughs> right, dapat may BP ka. Parang, ang dali lang ah. <laughs> right? Yes, madali lang naman ang short selling. It's similar to my technical analysis sa long long positions natin. Uh, yung mga nire-recommend ko sa inyo are long positions. Right? I want you guys to earn while the stock is climbing. So, I, as much as possible, dun ako sa low risk. Yun yung nire ko. So, yung, yung mga low risk. So, opposite naman, yung mga high risk positions, kasi mataas na risk doon, well, well, why not let's make it an opportunity? Eh di, ibet natin na babagsak na yan. Kasi usually, pag overpriced na yung isang stock, babagsak din naman yan, mag, magkakabintaan. So, why not earn while the stock is going down? At least, hindi na kayo maingit, hula, nagsiling si ECP. Pag umakyat yan sa ceiling, eh di, short sell nyo na. <laughs> ba diba? So, hindi na kayo maingit, hindi na kayo mafofomo. Right? So, yan. Um, question from Ambo Boksh. Uh, Follow-up question, sir. With that, sir, pag tayo kumita sa shirt, short, shirt selling, short selling, pwede natin ibalik original owner. What if sila ang kumita sa niram na stock? Ibalik din ba nila yun? Eh, hindi eh. Ikaw eh. It's up to you. If ikakat loss mo, kumikita naman sila eh. I'm earning from you and I'm still earning kasi umakyat. Bakit ko kukunin ka agad yan? ba? Diba? Hindi ko kukunin kasi I'm kumikita ako from you eh. ba? Diba? So, it's up to you if you want to return it. Kung gusto mo pang, kung martyr ka at titiisin mo ang sakit, eh di hawakan mo, ba? Diba? But, it's up to you if you want to return it. And, um, I don't see any reason bakit, for example, um, uh, ako ang may-ari ng stocks, ako yung nahiraman. It, it won't really matter kung sino may hiraman. Um, that's not a problem. But, 
hindi eh. Um, it won't really matter kasi I'm earning already in my stocks. Hindi ko naman makikita yan. Kung ano, ang nakikita ko lang is that my stock is earning. Pag umaakit ang stocks ko, I'm earning this percentage. So, can't really ano. Siguro kung gusto ko na isell, tapos hinahawakan mo pa. So, that will be the problem there. Uh, we'll ask our broker, uh, guest in the future about that. So, very good point, Ambo Books. Ma- Manjaris, L- Lopena, paano kung wala kang buying power, paano ka mababawasan? Yun, 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 yun yung ano, yun yung biggest question natin, paano ba magka-short sell? Sabi ng kaibigan ko, most probably, you will have to deposit a certain amount. Ang alam ko, 250,000 eh. 250,000 so that you will be allowed. Hindi, hindi, hindi pa yan confirmed ha. You should have 250,000 na naka-deposit Right? Naka-deposit at hindi gagalawin. Right? You should have that amount uh, para kung mag-short sell ka at then mabawasan ang pera mo, dun siya baba- mababawas. Right? So, yun yung initial requirements nila to be able to do short selling. June mainit. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Morning jan sa inyo. Good morning sa inyo. Jan sa Rome. Yan, June mainit. Um, sa mga Roma traders, good morning sa inyo. Ben Concepcion, sir, inform po ba ni broker yung hiniram ng stocks? Hindi naman, not necessarily. Kasi ang makikita mo support mo, kumikita ka eh, di ba? Or if you're losing stocks, right? Um, they will have a f- pool of stocks na hawa kanila. So you don't really have to concern yourself if stocks mo ang hiniram or hindi, right? They will be able to, um, may system para dyan na hindi nyo mafeel kung st- uh, stocks nyo ba ang hinihiram or not. Right? Eli Flores, what if the owner of the stocks you borrow decides to sell the stocks? Pwede naman nila iswap-swap yan. So don't, we don't really have to worry about that. Wag, po, wag po kayong, uh, wag po kayong, don't concern yourselves na yung stocks nyo hiramin, you won't be able to feel that kung kaninong stocks ang hinihiram nila kasi napakaraming stocks po dyan. Right? That's re- not really a big concern sa short selling kung sino hihiraman. Kathleen Rasing, thanks Sir Lloyd, cool on short selling, same rules lang din pala. Yes, same din ba. May charges po ba on short selling? Same with buying long and short. May magiging boy plunger na sa Pinas, he will take his life at the end. <laughs> Sir, very interesting topic. Maraming salamat ang mabuhay. Right. I'm ho- I'm happy I can help. Coach, salamat po sa inyo. God bless you more. Right. Maganda ba short selling para sa laging naiipit, downtrend following? Right. Nga, eh, dam- same lang din po ang market ng short selling sa normal selling o nakahiwalay po. Um, same lang naman. Right. Shells DV, paano mo isasoli yung stocks? Di ba pag short selling, i-click mo yung sell? Paano mo profit take ka na po, sir? You just press on the buy button and isasoli mo na yan. Right? This is from Shells DV. Uh, sir Lloyd, what if po nakabili ka sa mataas ngayon, ta sell mo kasi bumaba ng stock na hawak mo, in short, na ipit before sell ngayon? Um, not really sure. Uh, sir, what if po nakabili ka sa mataas ngayon, ta sell mo kasi bumaba na stock na hawak mo? In short, na ipit before sell ngayon. Um, If naipit ka, you will be losing. Right, ganito 'yan eh, 'di ba? So let me let me let me see if I understand your uh, uh your question properly. Right, so what if nakabili ka sa taas? Ganyan, 'di ba? So what if nakabili ka dito pero bumagsak ang stock at gusto mo i-short sell na lang? You have to sell your stocks first. As far as I know, sell your stocks first. Sell mo kaagad. And then pagbenta mo dito, bumaba pa, pwede ka ngayon mag-short sell. Short mo na ngayon after dito kung magda-downtrend na yan. So, yeah, you can do that. But you have to sell your stocks first and then short sell after. Right? Patrick Ilagan, sir, Lloyd, sure na ba maging you din na si ISM sa January 21? I'm not 100% sure. Pero so far so good. Wala namang bad news. So, malaki yung chance na matutuloy. Weng Berba Salde, sir, pag may short selling na magre-reco ka rin kaya pabagsak ng stocks. I think so, right? It will be mas malaking mas malaking issue na mas marami mas malaking trabaho na gagawin ko for recommendations. Ah. But anyways, yan, servisyo publiko natin yan. Hindi ko pwede magreklamo. So, <laughs> yan. Ah. Sige, magre-recommend din ako for short selling. At least marami na opportunities natin. Jerome, quote sa Itoro, short selling is just like buying until you have buying power. Yes, totoo oh, yan. Uh, from Jerome Gamboa. Pwede ang short selling sa Itoro eh. As long as mayroon kang buying power, pwede mo short sell. Alot sa alot, sir. So, pwede ba talaga kumita sa pagbabash, lol? <laughs> Dati, kumikita ang mga tao sa pag hype ngayon. Pwede nyo i-bash ang isang stock para bumagsak it siya. Alright? Ang dami pong, um, marami pong, ano, marami pong nakulong dito dati because they, they create Uh, bad news sa stocks. Kaya nga isa si uh, si Elon Musk 
um, na na intriga siya dati, baka daw nagpo-fraud siya. Kasi yon naglalabas siya ng gumagawa siya ng mga pangit na bagay like for example nag nag nagmariwana siya during an interview that caused the stock to go down so marami pong nag-short sa stock ni Elon Musk and dan daming kumita nung bumagsak yon so nagkaroon ng investigation noon baka sinadya nila para makumita sila sa 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 pagbagsak ng isang stock right Zacharias Marco pwede po bang mag-avail ako sa stocks for short selling na pwede Hulamon Bisan Kinsa sir yes uh, you don't really Don't really concern yourself kung sino yung hiraman, kung sino yung hiraman, kung hiraman ba ako. That's not a concern. Si broker na bahala dyan, may system para dyan para hindi nyo maramdaman. So don't worry about that, right? I was just uh, using that as a, as a visual aid para at least makita nyo po na, at maintindihan nyo po uh, lalo yung, ang, ang short selling. Sir, ano po mga stocks short selling sa eToro po? Actually, lahat na makita nyo sa eToro pwede short sell, right? Kasel, John Visaya, sir, charting na po, mag, oh, 9.20 na, o oh, nga pala, no? <laughs> Sorry about that, napadaldal tayo. Anyways, yes, let's go to my unahin natin recommendations, bilisan ko lang. Right, sorry, hindi ko mo sasagot lahat kasi yung oras natin. Let's go with number one pick ko ngayon, si Primex, PRMX. Right, so Primex, I'm still recommending Primex, nagko-confirm pa rin ng support. So, as much as possible, ito yung mga gusto kong stocks na pasukin, yung mga nag- sa so stabilize pa. Dalawang support yan na very solid. So, Primex, I think it's gonna be very good. Hindi ko lang alam kailan gagalaw yan. So, pero pag gumalaw yan, at least ready na kayo. Andiyan na kayo. So, position nyo na po yan. Right? Huwag mag, mag, uh, wag magmadali. Right? Um, PNB naman. Si PNB recommended this yesterday. A breakout strategy. And there, it just confirmed the support. Sabi natin, yung previous uh, previous resistance, magiging support yan. And there it is. Nagbabounce siya sa support niya. Actually, nagbounce na. So, PNB is still okay for me. Uh, pwede pang pasukin yan. And overall, it's still very cheap. Yan. Napakamura pa rin ni PNB. Alright? Um, PNB. FB. Recommending FB. We had a confirmation yesterday. Para maliit na, pa rin naman ang ginalaw niya. So, it's not yet too late to go after it. Breakout strategy po tayo dyan. This is your resist. Uh, this is your support now. Buy as long as that support holds. The risk wise naman. Um, let's see how much your risk is. Just support is just negative one point twenty percent away from the support. So that's for FB SMC. Si SMC pula siya kahapon, but even on a bearish market kahapon. Um, of even on a market pullback, it's still sustaining the support. Volume is still there. So. Yeah, I am recommending SMC. Nagsisimula na po yung volume niya. So, uh, it's already accumulating. Wala na po nagbebenta na mas lower. So, this is a very good price for SMC. Pag nag-green yan today, pwede niyo pong pasukin yan. Lastly, si Tech naman. <laughs> right, so, yan. Um, si Tech naman, pula siya kahapon, but sustaining the support, even on a red market. Ito lang, medyo shaky ako dito. Uh, tech overall is still overpriced, right? Um, ang fair value ni Tech is around... 8 to 10 pesos if I'm not, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken so medyo overpriced siya but you can never deny technical analysis gumawa siya ng support dito nagbounce siya on a bearish market and ngayon market natin is okay na nagsusustain na siya ngayon so um volume starting to pick up medyo tumataas na yung volume niya the support is sustaining so pag nag green yan pag nag confirm ng support pwede niyo po i-test yan test by lang po test by lang kasi sideways trend pa yan the trend is your friend Sideways trend is not your friend. Uptrend po yung lalagyan natin ng malaking pera. So those are my recommendations for today. Nine, time check, 9.21. Let's go to the questions na mga, uh, request na mga tao. PCOR, let's go sa so PCOR. Ayan, PCOR, double bottom, pula pa rin, but still sustaining the volume, uh, the, still sustaining the support. Volume is there. So nag-accumulate na si PCOR. Please po, mag-accumulate kayo habang nasa support pa yan. Start accumulating PCOR. Right? I'm still recommending that. Hindi ko lang linagay sa recommendations ko ngayon kasi medyo pula. I'm waiting for the bounce. So, just wanna be safe in my recommendations. So, baka mag-bounce din today. Pwede nyo pasukin. SCC, Semirara, doing a pullback. Let's wait for it to bounce before we wanna get in. Pag nag-bounce yan, we will be seeing a higher high and a higher low. That will be our entry point. Yan, uptrend na si Semirara pag nag nagbigay ng ano yan ng ng what they call this ng signal of buying yet it has it has already broken its downtrend so ayan antayin lang natin yung bounce that will be our confirmation pag nag bounce 
Very good pick sa SEC. Let's just wait for the bounce. Same with MPI. Right? So, MPI, malapit na naman sa support. So, this is a good opportunity for MPI. Let's wait for it to do a bounce before we wanna get in. Pag nag-bounce yan, ire ko yan si MPI. Nag-abang lang ako. Fen naman. Maraming nagtatanong about Fen. Ano nangyari kay Fen? Uh, just technical analysis. Um, not really sure what happened kay Fen. Bakit nag-rarally nag, nag ng ganito? But... Yeah, that this is what I'm telling you. You can never deny technical analysis kahit na yung fundamentals niya for this year, negative 152%, negative 96% pero nagra-rally. The stats, momentum. Hindi natin maiiwasan 'yan. Look at that. Bollinger Band trigger, MA20 bounce and then there it is, nag-uptrend na. So, I don't want to follow this anymore. Masyado mataas na 'yan. So, short sell na po natin 'yan. All right, look at that. Um <laughs> Ha, sana may short sell because I'm gonna be shorting this if I see a red kay Fen, right? Pataas ang presyo right there. Uh, RSI is sideways na. RSI is already too high. So, delikado na yan. So, anytime soon, baka mag short sell na yan. Maybe we can see a downtrend at pwede nating is short sell yan. Kung may short sell na. But right now, when these kinds of position happen, monitorin nyo na po yan for any short selling signals. So, Fen, konti ingat kay Fen. Uh, konti ingat, malaking ingat, iwasan nyo po yan right? so, ISM naman wait for the bounce before you wanna get in malapit na po January 31 so, hopefully something good happens right IDC, doing a pullback uh, antayin lang natin yung uh, bounce niya, masyadong exaggerated pa yan for me, don't really wanna enter it at this high of a uptrend, pwede dyan or pwede MA20, antayin natin yung bounces ni IDC, so far Wag mo munang habulin si IDC unless you are a momentum trader. Pwede yan mag-bounce and then um, uh, laruin nyo yung bounce. So, but I don't want to recommend that. IDC, next is PX. Yan, si PX naman, um, same. Uh, it's already oversold. I don't want to recommend that anymore. Iwasan nyo na po yan. Alright? Si, uy, nga pala guys, yung mga recommendations ko na sila. ABS-CBN sila Lopez, yun, yun, I, I did upload one time, sabi ko na panahon mo ba ni ABS-CBN ito and nag-aakyata na sila Lopez at ABS. So good job sa mga nagbodega doon sa baba. Um, next is IDCPX Now, kamusta natin si Now? And si Now is doing a pullback, antayin po natin yung bounce ni Now around this level right here or MA20 the best. Right, so wag niyo po habulin yan, masyado mataas na yan. Right, STR naman, good volume yesterday. Um, I want STR to do a breakout na lang at the very least. Kung gusto niyo pong pasukin si STR, pa-breakout niyo po or make it do a pullback and bounce at MA20, around MA20 before you wanna uh, uh, wanna enter it. Alright guys, so it's, ah, suspended pala si Fen. O nga pala, no? Um, didn't notice that. O nga pala kahapon, suspended si Fen. Um, tingnan ko bakit. I didn't really research about it. But anyways, it's 9.25 Napahaba pa yung usapan natin. Right. Pasensya na if hindi ko po ma-check yung chart ng lahat. But yeah, my recommendations today, yun lang. Konting ingat lang sa market. Still doing a pullback. We can't really tell if it's gonna bounce today or not. So, take profits if you can please. Hindi pa po makapal ang volume ni PSE. Kahit na bullish ang move niya. Volume's not really there yet. So, still stay light. If you need to take profits tulad ni Jollibee, dapat nag-sell half na po kayo. Huwag po nyo po nga hahawakan ang stocks ninyo pag nandyan sa tuktok. You can always sell half if you see a weakness. Right? Not really sure why suspended eh. Pasensya na. Right? Anyways, um, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll think of a good topic for tomorrow. Right? I-announce ko pa yan bukas. As always, let's get rich together. Join the chat room. Right? Yung chat room natin. And this Saturday, Sunday, I have a seminar, 9 in the morning. Send me a message if you want to join that. It will be very beneficial for you. Cebu, January 19, to be announced by yung venue. Let's get rich together. Have a good day. Bye-bye.